Hi, I'm Louise, and as the weather gets cooler, I think of comfort foods and a nice hot bowl of chili. The secret ingredient in this chili is cocoa powder, which will give the chili a nice, deep, dark, rich, simmering for hours flavor in the fraction of the time. Let's get started. For this recipe, I will need one medium onion chopped. The easiest way to chop the onions is by using the manual food processor. Yeah, we'll just cut this into fours. Manual food processor. This is one of my favorite products and they must have in every kitchen. Check out how easy this is. And voila, our onions are chopped and ready to go. In my rock crock, I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil preheating. To this, I'm going to add the chopped onions and cook them two to three minutes or until slightly softened. Now that the onions are sauteed, we're gonna add one and a half pounds of lean ground beef and three garlic cloves. So I'm going to use our garlic press. And using the mix and chop, I'm going to crumble the ground beef until it's cooked all the way through and no longer pink. This tool here, if you don't have a mix and chop, this needs to be in your kitchen ASAP. It makes crumbling ground beef super easy. I use it for ground turkey. I also make uh, guacamole because I like a slightly or chunky guacamole. So this is a great tool, one of our number one selling products. So we're gonna wait until our ground beef and onions are totally cooked through, which will take about five to seven minutes. Okay, the ground beef is still cooking, but I'm gonna go ahead and add our seasoning. We need three tablespoons of chili powder. One, two, and three. We need two and a half tablespoons of cumin. One, two, and a half. And then we need our secret ingredient, which is the cocoa powder. Make sure it is the unsweetened cocoa powder. And we need one and a half teaspoons of that. So one and a half. And then I'm gonna give it a quick stir and let the ground beef continue to cook. Now that our ground beef is finished cooking, I'm going to add the rest of our ingredients, starting with a half a can of tomato paste. Just a half a can, not the whole can. So about that much. And then the rest of the ingredients are one and a half cans of fire roasted tomatoes with the juice included. Okay, and then a half of this can. Since I use the easy, uh, the easy can opener, this is perfect because you can just put this back on and you can um, keep it in the refrigerator till next time you need some tomatoes. Next ingredient we need to add is one and a half cans of chili beans. 
Use any brand that you happen to have. This is just what my grocery store carries. So one and a half cans of this. There we go. And one and a half cups of beef broth. Okay, and stir all that together. Now, see how easy that was? Now, you can easily make this any night of the week for your family. The only thing I need to add now is some salt. Going to put the lid on, and this is just going to continue cooking for about 15 minutes. If you want to cook it a little longer, Longer is better, but it only needs 15 minutes. So we'll check back. For the topping of our chili, it's nice to have grated cheese. Here I have a block of cheddar cheese, and I'm going to grate it with our cheese grater. Yes, I know that you can buy your cheese already grated in a bag, but let's face it, the cheese that you grate your own tastes and melts so much better. So we just need a little to go on the top of each person's serving. And also what's nice to go on top of the chili is some um, green onions. And if you like a little spice, then by all means add some jalapeno peppers because that would be great too on, as a topping. All right, let me get my bowl of chili. All right, so our chili is done cooking. It looks rich, smells delicious. That uh, secret ingredient, the cocoa, really added to the deep, dark flavor. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to add some to the bowl. And let's add the grated cheese. And of course, some of the chopped onions. And if you like jalapenos, add that. And certainly some sour cream would be delicious too. I really hope that you will make this for your family. It's quick, it's easy, it's hearty and delicious. Happy cooking! These are all the products that were used to make the recipe today. If you see anything that you would like in your kitchen, please check out my website where you can place an order, find other recipes, or even join my team.